You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out this interesting Pepsi can coin sorter. Now it's plastic. I said can because it resembles a Pepsi can. As seen on TV. I wonder if anybody ever remembers seeing this on TV. So it sorts uh, nickels, pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, quarters, dimes, all the way down. Of course, it's going to do all your coins. You just drop them in. Let's see. Wow. So easy. Just drop a handful of coins in the tab top opening and set the wheels and gears in motion. Hmm. Did you see this on TV? Okay, so it's... Let's see. It sorts, stacks, and saves quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Interesting and fun design makes saving money fun for everyone. So it looks like, let me see. Yeah, it actually looks like you put the paper sleeve inside the tubes down here, which I don't have, by the way, so I can't really test that. I have some somewhere. I just don't, it's not something I normally keep. I don't know how many people out there are still actually wrapping coins. It does say coin wrappers not included. To open, just twist and separate the top from the base. Okay, so just drop coins in, as seen on TV. I think I've seen everything on the box. There's not much more to do but to take it out. So let me do that with you right now. And it is big. How big? I will show you in just a second. I will compare it to a regular can. Now, I have to admit that when I first got it, I had to test it because, uh, I don't know, I just needed to test it before I got started. Sometimes these don't work, and this one did not work. I had to completely, pretty much dismantle the whole thing to get to the mechanics, and once I got to the mechanics, I had to fix the switch that controls the coins being sorted. Pretty cool. Let me grab a Pepsi can so you can kind of see the difference, so you really get an idea what we're talking about here. It's giant. I would say it's giant. If you want it just as a cool Pepsi display, that would be pretty neat. Now you can find these on eBay. There's quite a few of them there. It's not a hard item to find. And then I give you these instructions with it. How to open and close. Insert two AA batteries. I'll show you that. How to lock it. And then put your coin tube in. Paper wrapper. See, it shows you to put your paper wrapper in there. And then if there's sorting problems. So let's just, I don't know. Let me throw some coins in because it is fun just to get that initial excitement there. Watch this. Now it said somewhere in there, don't put more than 20. So here, I'll put some quarters. I'll try to get everything. I got quarters. I got dimes. There's a dime in there. Let me get a couple more dimes. And nickels. So I've got everything. Is that about 20? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So like, you come home, you drop your pocket change in. All right, here, I'll just drop it in. Okay, now it is sorting right now. Okay, so there's a little depression switch in there that pushes down when coins are added. Let's do it again so we can watch it from this angle the whole time. I'll drop some pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters in. Now remember, I did spend a good 45 minutes with this to get it to work right. Okay, so now is it all sorted correctly? I don't know. That part of it, I couldn't test. Now, here's that little dot they're showing you. Once this, once you get to this dot, that's where it lines up to open it. And look, it is all correctly sorted. I don't think there's anything out of place. Now you would take this off to get your paper sleeve out, I guess. These are removable. Oh, the whole tube comes out. So I guess when you have your paper sleeve in there, you would pull the tube out and it would come out with the coins. But I can't do that, so let me just uh, check the bottom out. All right, so there's nothing really there. It's from 2005, it looks like. 2005. Oh, number 2905. I don't see a year there. Let me look at the box. Just to see if I could help you date that. Okay, no date. How about on here? Pepsi and Pepsi Cola? Nothing. So when was it seen on TV? I don't know. Alright, so now, how do you get to the batteries? Watch this. 
this opens up here like this and then what's going on inside the mechanism let me show you since I worked on it already I know how to take it apart and put it together and then you could watch it live in action it took me a while to figure it out the piece is gonna drop down now okay this piece comes out now of course you're normally not gonna see this on most toy videos right and then I could put this back on but part of working with older toys is having to be able to fix them or at least tinker with them I only need to put a couple screws in okay now the batteries are put back in and connected Isn't that interesting how it goes together real simple I'm always cautious with power tools and plastic pieces okay now what was wrong with mine was this little dip switch here there's a little switch here with two pieces of copper that push together to start the power the batteries coming down to this motor and then from this motor to this here and then that's what starts it now inside here there is a plastic plate it's right here hard to see maybe easier right there it's inside there when a coin hits it is when here let's see I didn't actually try this let me see if I could just set this on here like it would be in the actual bigger outer shell okay let's see so inside there is where the coins hit let me just see if I drop one quarter and you'll see okay it hit that spot now it's gonna go around and it rolls down and sorts well, let me do a few more so that was what was broken on this one so I had to figure out what was wrong I maybe in shipping it had an issue way back when I have no idea all right let me put a bunch in so you can watch make sure this stays lined up I'm just gonna hold it here while it's running Okay, how cool is that? How about another closer view down so you can kind of see a different angle and perspective. Let me drop more in. Okay, pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. I'm trying to get some of everything each time. Here we go. I do want to hold it though because if it falls out of alignment, we might have an issue. Okay, so now the one that's sitting there, you see that? It's not on the switch area. And it's not heavy enough now, so I guess that could happen. But I guess when you're dropping in your next round of coins, it would solve that problem. Now look at the gearing. It's kind of neat. Let me do it again, see if we can work that one out. Then I'll put it back together. Okay, line this up. Here we go. Well, it's kind of neat they come through this slot in here and then this has like an angle couple angle pieces in here that are controlling which way it goes or doesn't go all right what do you think did you get enough look inside the beast let me know one more time i did actually put a little uh silicone on the motor top here because this is sometimes where i like to add a little bit kind of especially with older motors that haven't run in a long time Ooh, that nickel now it did say worn coins or coins that have uh that aren't perfect you know might cause an issue let's see oh there we go all sorted I wonder if I can give you a shot just down here in this section. All right, I gotta do it one more time just because I want to show you what's going on down here. Maybe you can see that better. All right, then I'll put it together for you because I know it looks kind of weird out of the.
pretty cool, huh? All right, let me back this camera up. Now what I need to do is take those screws out that I had put in. Of course, handle everything carefully. Now I don't suggest you do this, but you run the risk of causing more damage. Okay. So this is how the battery terminals connect. There's these two holes here and then right here and that's when it sits on it it's made the connection it's kind of neat how they made it so they could just replace the coin changing unit but if you're looking for a cool coin changing unit you could actually put this and you know use it in another device if you wanted to all right so it needs to go this way I believe I'll know in a second let me get my camera up a little now I've done this a few times taking it apart and putting it back together Okay, I know because of the way this goes on that this lines up with the opening on this and then I just match up my power and that should be it. It's back together. I'll do it a few more times as a you know regular bank all together now. I'm not going to tighten it down until I get a few more in here. Wait, I turned this around the wrong way. Okay, see? Hold on a second. Now that that piece is in, I realize it's wrong. It's one of those things. down that'll drop by its own okay this actually needs to be going the other way I know it sounds crazy but okay there's like these uh, side pieces in here I don't know if you can see them which hold that sort of in place and lock this mech this piece into that piece. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. It's good too if you're going to do something like this. Take pictures of before you take it apart, so you can kind of easily put it back together. Or in my case, a lot of times I have the actual video showing me take it apart, so that I have it. Let me just double check I got everything right. No, I don't have it right. Okay, what's going on? Let's do it one more time. That needs to be on that side. Okay, then this needs to be on this side. Correct. All right, now I officially have it right. How do I know? Because when these pins lock in, the opening's in the right spot. Like I said, take video of what you're doing here. Okay. I know, I know, I'm taking up time here, I'm sorry. But you're seeing me fumble, but I'm also wanting to make sure I don't damage anything. this can go back on okay then this match up the white dot with the white dot okay now we're set Ooh, sorry about that took a little bit and now it's back to a functioning working coin sorter See, isn't it cool? At least open it up so that you can see inside. I don't know if they easy without the coin sleeves. It's probably pretty hard to take these out, so I'm just gonna kind of dump them. 
but if you did it this way you could at least have piles not the way I just did it but it's pretty close look at that there's my dimes there's my quarters there it's still sorted for you look at that all right that's it hope you like this particular bank coin sorter I guess you could just use it as a bank and every time you've sorted it all out match it up the right way it's that little white dot and you've got that cool Pepsi logo on the side so remember now the size difference look all right that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from this video I'll throw a few more in because I'll segue out now but if you want to see more cool banks I've got a bunch videos of them already look in that description for a playlist there's always you can search the lucky penny shop now I'm really putting it to the test I'm resorting everything I've already sorted Who doesn't like that mechanical sound of the bank spinning and just hearing the coins go down? Okay, this is a lot, but let's just test it. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. Later. Oh wait a minute, I think I'll have this. Why not? If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.